Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and uh, we're uh, going to talk a little bit more about how the uh, quick machine recovery works in Windows 11, as this feature is going to roll out to everybody at some point within the next few weeks and months. So quick machine recovery is brand new, and actually several users have intentionally tried to see if it would fix systems that couldn't boot up. And apparently the success rate is quite good. So quick machine recovery, what is that? It's something new. Um, it comes from the fact that Microsoft, when the um, CrowdStrike problem happened and PCs couldn't reboot, it came with a um, kind of an eye opener. Microsoft understood that the fix wasn't that difficult. If you could do it, it would put the machine back online quickly. Unfortunately, you needed IT guys and so on, so it took a long time. This is where Quick Machine Recovery, and it comes from the uh, Microsoft Resiliency Program, where um, they wanted to make sure Windows can be more reliable than that. So if you go into your settings, not everybody has it yet, but some of you will see it. Uh, in the Windows updates, you go into the advanced options, and then you go into recovery. You will maybe see something called quick machine recovery. And there's a switch. You can turn it on or leave it off. By default, it's off. And what happens with this is that there are several options, including one here, which is continue searching if a solution is um is isn't found and how long you wanted to search and so this is basically what's going to happen your pc can't start so if it's stuck in a boot loop and now when that happens there are different options that are available before it was well you can go into the advanced recovery and you know try different things but there were, this was all manual you had to do it yourself. If you turn this on, what happens is it goes into a different type of recovery. It's an automated recovery. So once that is on, after it tries to reboot and fails, it suddenly will want to fall into a um, recovery mode. So it's going to say, okay, your device, device ran into a problem. We need to restart. It will eventually restart connect to the network and there it will try to find a solution to that and when it does it downloads the solution it's all connected to the web and hopefully your pc restarts so what happens is that it boots goes to the cloud checks the um data from your system so all that telemetry it will look at okay what crashed What's the problem? What can we do about it? And the cloud will try to find a solution. And if it does, uh, it downloads that solution, fixes your problem. Doesn't? Well, it's going to try several times to do it. It's going to try different avenues. So every time it goes back to the cloud, it's not necessarily going to try the same thing. It's going to see, okay, it didn't work on that. We didn't find anything with that what else is available and what else can be done. And hopefully at some point, well, you get a working system. All of that is automated. Nothing at all that you have to do. It just goes and connects. It starts by connecting through Ethernet. If you don't have Ethernet in your Wi-Fi, then it will look at what's the Wi-Fi uh, info in Windows so that it can connect to your Wi-Fi and then go to the cloud and exchange information to see, okay, what can I do to fix the problem? So apparently it is a pretty interesting and quite good system that they've implemented. And of course, this will find out the day that our PCs crash and can't start again. And we'll see if, well, did the uh, quick machine recovery fix our problem. But there's hope, and I think this is perfect because this is exactly what people need, a way to fix a problem without interaction, without you know having to know what to do. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.